Hamas is a Palestinian Islamist group that controls Gaza. It is known for fighting Israel. In October 2023, Hamas launched a big surprise attack on Israel, killing many. Israel declared war on Hamas. Many countries call Hamas a terrorist group. Iran gives Hamas support and money. Turkey may protect some Hamas leaders. Hamas rivals Fatah, which rules the West Bank. Fatah has stopped the violence. The split and Hamas's hostility toward Israel have made Gaza unstable. Hamas started as part of the Muslim Brotherhood in Gaza. Sheikh Ahmed Yassin created it in 1987 during Palestinian protests against Israel's control of the West Bank and Gaza. Hamas wanted Palestinians to support them instead of other violent groups. Their charter calls for destroying Israel. Hamas first used suicide attacks in 1993. This was before the Oslo Accords between Israel and Palestinians. Hamas rejected the peace deal. The U.S. named Hamas a terrorist group in 1997. Hamas led violent resistance in the 2000s along with other militias. Hamas wants to end Israeli occupation through force. They control Gaza but remain isolated due to their extremism. Hamas has many leadership groups that handle different jobs. The Politburo makes big decisions but operates in exile. Local committees manage Gaza and West Bank issues. Ismail Haniyeh is the political chief based in Qatar. Yahya Sinwar oversees Gaza affairs. Isam al-Da'alis is Gaza's prime minister. Marwan Isa and Mohammed Daif command Hamas's military wing, the Iz Adin al-Qassam brigades. Israel killed Hamas founder Sheikh Ahmed Yassin in 2004. Other leaders operate from Turkey and Lebanon. Despite changes, Hamas keeps its structure. Local leaders handle Gaza while the Politburo makes big calls from abroad. As a designated terrorist group, Hamas doesn't get official aid from the US or EU. Its funding comes from elsewhere. In the past, Hamas got donations from Palestinian expatriates and Gulf charities. Some Western Islamic charities also funneled it money. Since 2007, the Gaza blockade by Egypt and Israel has restricted trade and movement. Qatar gives aid directly to Hamas. Iran is a major backer, providing over $100 million annually, plus weapons and training. Turkey under Erdogan also supports Hamas. Without official aid, poverty in Gaza is severe. Hamas relies on outside donors like Iran and Qatar. The blockade makes funding Hamas a constant challenge. Hamas took control of Gaza after Israel withdrew in 2005. Hamas won the Palestinian elections in 2006 based on its social services and corruption in the Fatah party. Fatah kicked out Hamas in the West Bank. Hamas defeated Fatah militias in Gaza, causing a split between the territories. No national elections have occurred since. Hamas set up authoritarian institutions in Gaza. It is governed by Islamic law, but is more restrictive, controlling women's dress and segregating genders early on. Watchdog groups say Hamas lacks transparency and accountability. It represses media, activists, opponents, and NGOs in Gaza. Hamas has firm control of Gaza, but its authoritarian approach and rivalry with Fatah have divided Palestinians. So there you have it, a quick rundown on Hamas. If you found this useful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more straightforward takes on complex topics.